The Assets Manager panel is where all of your website's images, documents, and Lottie animations are stored. To get to your Assets Manager panel, simply go to the left toolbar in Webflow and click on the image icon. From there, you'll see the Assets Manager panel and all of the images and documents and Lottie animations that are already loaded into your project. If you need to upload an asset, you can do so in two ways. You can click on the Upload button right here, or you can just simply drag and drop an asset into the Assets Manager. And there you go. If you want to upload multiple things into your Asset Manager, go ahead and do so by doing the same thing. Select two or three things or more and drag and drop. If you want to sort your assets in a different order, you can go you can do so down here by clicking on the newest first and opening up this little menu. If you want a different view of your assets manager, click on this grid, which will give you a list, which makes it into a list form, or you can choose list small. And if you click on it, everything's just a little bit smaller, but I'm going to go back to grid. All right. Another thing you can do in the assets manager panel is expand it. So when you expand it, you get even more organizational tools for this panel. So if you're the type that likes to organize everything, you can click on new folder and I'm going to call this folder name photos create. And I'm going to take three, these three photos by clicking on the check marks and then moving them to for photos. And there we go. Now it looks like it didn't really move, but that's because I'm selected on the all assets tab. But if I go to photos, it's here and nothing else. Also a cool thing in this assets manager panel is if you take a look, I'm going to click on this little cog right here and going to scroll down and oh no, it's very large. It's two megabytes. That's very large. So what I can do is close this, select it, and then compress it. Now what's happening is Webflow is compressing it into a WebP format, as you can see right here, WebP. And if I go to this cog again and look at the file size, it went from two megabytes to 190 kilobytes. So that's a lot of file savings, uh, file size savings. I can also do that for multiple um, images. So if I click on this, check, check, Compress them both, confirm, and there we go. Two assets compressed. If you need to delete an asset, you can easily click on the cog and then click on the delete button and then delete again. If you want to add a alt tag, you can do so here. Nelson doing his best interpretation of turning and smiling. Or you can set something to a decorative. Instead of needing alt text, you can set it to decorative. Last thing, you can open up images by themselves by clicking on the up arrow. Or you can click on the little chain to copy the actual URL to that asset. And that's the quick tutorial on the Assets Manager in Webflow.